Now, one of the biggest issues I found with recording YouTube videos is that the video recording settings in OBS are very tedious. One wrong setting and So to avoid this, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings to fix blurry slash fuzzy recordings in OBS. First, let's start with the video settings. So you can see here that I have the base canvas resolution and I also have the output skilled resolution. So they are both the same and that is exactly how you want to have it. You want for both to be the exact same resolution. My native monitor resolution is 1080p and you want to make sure that your output scaled resolution is the exact same because whenever you're exporting your video, it will use whatever this resolution is. Now where the issue comes in is if you have your base canvas resolution at 1080p and then let's say I have my output scale resolution at 720p that will force you to use a downscale filter which will basically compensate for the quality loss from the change between resolutions. So make sure that you have both of these at the same resolution. Then you also have the common FPS values. This is honestly more preference so you can set this to whatever you want. I like recording my videos at 60 FPS especially when I am doing a gaming video so I would personally say that if you're recording a regular desktop video video keep this at 30 fps or 60 if that is how you want to do it but if you're doing a gaming video where you're getting 60 fps on a game make sure that you have this at 60 but this will not cause any fuzzy or blurry recordings now most importantly let's talk about the output settings so just go to recording and then scroll down until you see the encoder settings now this matters a lot because a lot of people will google what a good bitrate for youtube is and it will tell you something around 7,000 kilobits per second, and that is not right, at least whenever you're doing a gaming video. Now, currently I have mine at 100,000. This is not on purpose. Currently I am doing a desktop recording, so really this should be more at 20,000. So I would personally say that if you're doing a gaming video, you might wanna stick to something between 70,000 and 100,000, but you do wanna also keep in mind that the higher this is, the higher the size of your mp4 file so you do want to keep that in mind but to be honest if you are doing youtube videos two gigabytes mp4 files aren't really that bad now if you're doing a regular desktop video you can do a little bit of testing with this this is a more static frame so there won't be many changes in the view of the camera so i would say something around 10,000 to 30,000 in extreme cases but something around 20,000 would probably be good for a regular desktop recording. And then you also have these presets and profiles. This is mostly for the video encoder. You want to pick a video encoder that is best for you. If you have a powerful GPU, it most likely comes with a video encoder. I know that Nvidia GPUs come with NVENC and AMD GPUs come with AVC. So if you have an AMD GPU, you can pick between AMD HW H264 or you can also pick H265. But if you have have a Intel GPU or just but you do have a CPU you can also use H.264 or I think it's something like x264 but you will see what video encoder you have so if you don't have a more GPU personal video encoder then you might not see preset and profile but I would say that these probably don't make any changes to the video. I know that if you do have a AMD or Nvidia GPU that has its own video encoder, then set it to high settings and see what that does for you. But this is really something that you want to test for yourself. I personally don't see any difference in any of this. So I just set it to quality and the profile to high. Now let's talk about the final boss, which is the video editing program of your choice. Now, what I just recently found out is the reason why some of my videos actually look fuzzy or blurry in at least my benchmarks is because I am recording an OBS at a certain bit rate, but I am outputting my video in a way lower bit rate. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now you can see the preset. To be honest, I haven't fully found the best preset i currently just try high quality 1080p hd but the one thing that you want to focus on which would make your videos blurry or fuzzy is go to video 
go to more and if you scroll down you should eventually be able to see the bitrate settings now this is where things get pretty interesting so you have the bitrate encoding you can click on this and you want to make sure that this is on cbr so if your obs is using cbr you want to go to cbr if you chose vbr go to vbr but go to cbr and then you want to make sure that the target bit rate matches the one that you picked in OBS. So if you picked 60,000 kilobits per second, then that would be 60 megabits per second. So go up to 60 and you can see that if I edit this to make it exactly 60, it allows me to do that. But you'll see that this goes to 3.4 gigabytes now again for long videos like seven minutes and 32 seconds that's not horrible and if you're a video editor you should definitely have space on your pc so to be honest 3.4 gigabytes for a video is not bad especially since you will be probably deleting this video off of your system after you upload it to youtube at least that's what i do you want to make sure that your bitrate encoding is set to the same thing that it is in obs and then you want to make sure that the target bitrate is set to the exact exact same thing you also have an OBS so you can see that they only let you go up to 62.5 so I guess in this case you want to make sure that your OBS is a max of 62.5 and if you do want to go anywhere higher than 62.5 you will have to deal with a slight bit of downscaling at least in your bit rate to where it will take it from let's say 90,000 kilobits per second in OBS and downgrade it or downscale it down to 62.5 so it's really up to you i would say that your best bet is to just attempt recording any of your videos any of your gaming videos any of your fast-paced fortnite or call of duty or pretty much any gaming video that has a lot going on on the screen you want to make sure that your obs is somewhere between 62.5 and lower and then you want to also make sure that your premiere pro or whatever video editor you're using you want to go ahead and set your target bit rate to 62.5 or whatever your OBS is basically the moral story is you want to make sure that your OBS bitrate is matching the Premiere Pro bitrate because you will definitely be downgrading your bitrate which will honestly be very confusing which it was for me I was unsure what was actually causing my videos to look bad even though the source video from straight from OBS was actually looking good but then after I exported it through Premiere Pro then it started looking bad and yeah that's pretty much it